We were hanging out at 420 Fest, Sweetwater 420 Fest here in Atlanta, Georgia, talking to local artist Claus. How's it going, guys? Great. Oh, awesome. Great. How are you? Um, I'm dry now, yes, right? but just a few minutes ago, it was like a torrential, crazy uh, southern Georgia downpour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like a, a spring shower, if you will. A monsoon, I think, is a little bit more accurate. Spring yeah. shower sounds so it's delicate. So it really does. <laughs> this was anything but delicate. And we were in the caught in the middle of it. So. And you know, well, it was fitting though, and and you said it first, and I'm glad you did. It's like. Screw it, our music's dark anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We make dark, moody music, yeah. so. And it actually, I think, added to it. So, Very awesome. for what it's worth, it was uh, the, the full experience. Thanks, man. So, you guys first met at a house party? Yeah, back. Well, it was your house party. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and she just yeah. ran, she just ran off I just the showed up. Just, just showed up. Uninvited <laughs> guests. Yeah, I just was. Like I, I really was. But I was invited by somebody who was there. That counts, right? Yeah, that's, that's you know. I'm kind of a party, party crasher. Yeah. But hey, like, we met and, like, now we're here. Yeah, here we are with you guys. So. <laughs> yeah, that was, like, three and a half years ago. Yeah. Approaching oh four. God. Oh, wow. Jesus that's Christ. Crazy. How long was the, uh, the, the first meet to the, like, actually starting to work together? Not too long. I would say like maybe four months. If that, yeah. I mean, we started kind of writing under the, you know, like, hey, let's write music for other artists and let's just write records and see what happens. And then I was like, man, she's so dope. This is too cool. Like, do you want to be in a band with me? You want to do, <laughs> do this thing? Did you get down on one knee? Yeah, sounds... I did. I, I was like... all she is shy and she said, you want to be in a band with me? No, like it was via text. Check night. a box. Yes, yeah. no, maybe. I had one of those. Uh, no, like, like fortune, those fortune tellers. Fortune tellers. Yeah. Did those have a name? Yeah. Fortune yeah. tellers. Really? Yeah. I... Like the origami. Yeah. It's like a weird yeah. finger like, puppet thing. Yeah. But no, like, I I used to like dream about getting a text from Graham because every time I did it would be like some kind of like good news and like that was great. Like, yes, I'll be in a band. So what was it that wanted you guys to start making music together? Um, I, at the time, was, you know, just really getting into music. I'd been doing it at that point for like two years, you know, kind of full throttle. I dropped out of grad school. Uh, I was pursuing a, a master's in literary studies. And I gave it all up, and I was like, I'm going to do music. And so when I met Graham and heard, like, his whole repertoire and, like, what he had done, like, his productions and, like, the way that he made music, I was really inspired. And I was grateful and honored that he would want to work with me. Yeah, I mean, I had been on the other side of the glass, you know, doing major label records as a producer, engineer, and it uh, was kind of getting burned on that. I really wanted to do something creative of my own. Well, that's know? what I was going to ask you. Is this is your first foray from production to performance? Um, I mean, back in the day, like in college, high school years, I played in a lot of really shitty bands. So <laughs> Didn't we all? Yeah, so <laughs> that was my first foray. But since then, yeah, like this clause is kind of my first one getting back into it like that for sure and I, I always ask whenever this comes up shitty band name was oh god home slice that was um, the best one that's a good bad one yeah yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> there's more but we'll just leave it at that yeah. that's it that's a really good bad one yeah mine, mine was pretty bad too i thought it was really great i was like a literary nerd so mine was portmanteau oh you know, you know, that's the kind of thing where people are going to end up having to Google it because yeah. most people aren't going to know like if exactly what it is. It. Yeah, well, that's the, that's the next problem. Right. So, and it's definitely uh, from your previous work, much darker. Is this more your vibe? Yes, yes. I love dark music, and like I've sat down and tried to make happy music, and I just can't it's do so it. Hard. I don't know because <laughs> I think the I You've love. You've done it pretty well for other people. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I can facilitate it maybe for someone else better than when I try to do it. I love soul music, and soul music is inherently dark. Yeah. And I think to make really good soul music, there's a darkness to that, you know, and that's just what I'm drawn to. Yeah. Well, I think it's beautiful. Well, thank you so I, much. I hope we hear more and more of it. The second album uh, just came out recently, but, but you seem to be now on pace doing an album a year, which we haven't seen people do in a long time. Are, is that... Intentional? Are you trying to uh, crank out the material? We could do more. We, we could. We love to we make could, music. Yeah, we, we could. So we could better. release more if we. But like, we have to. We I don't know. We try to slow ourselves down. <laughs> you know, I have, we don't. Release. Well, one of our band, like we have, I have my own studio, and you know, we don't really need anyone else to make records except the two of us, which is one of our advantages. So. We can, we could, we have a lot more that we could be releasing, but. Um, I'm also curious, like how much of, of, of your previous work with uh, not necessarily major labels, but some pretty damn big labels influenced you to want to self-release? 
I mean, that's pretty much the whole. <laughs> the whole I saw, I, mean, I learned what not to do and saw all the trappings of that. Um, you know, not to say if we found the right label situation, not major label, but, you know, kind of big indie label situation. We're open to that, but um, we certainly love the freedom of doing things ourselves. You yeah. Know? Well, I don't, I don't want anybody telling you what to do because I think you're doing an amazing job. And I can't wait to hear more. Thank you guys for taking the time to hang out with us. See you in Brooklyn next time. Yes, yes thank man. you guys All so right. much. Cheers.